Okay, so OnePlus Nord users, welcome to the Color OS Club. So OnePlus have officially started rolling out Oxygen OS 12.1 stable build for OnePlus Nord 2. In past, OnePlus Nord have already received the stable build and the same thing have been released for OnePlus Nord 2. So in this video, let's find out what all changes they have done with this new Oxygen OS 12.1 for OnePlus Nord 2. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we have our OnePlus Nord 2, which is currently running on the latest build of Oxygen OS 12. You can say 12.1. If you take a look at the Android version, here it says Android version is 12 now which comes with 5th May 2022 security patch. If you talk about the version, version over here is C.04. If you tap on update device, here it says Oxygen OS 12.1. So this is the first stable build of Oxygen OS 12.1 for OnePlus Nord 2. In past, I guess they have received two open betas before the release of stable Android 12 or you can say Oxygen OS 12. And guys, before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. We still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel but they do watch our videos. If you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Okay, now talking about the benchmark results on Oxygen OS 12 which is running on our OnePlus Nord 2. With the Geekbench application, single core have scored 554 and multi-core have scored 2724. With Antro 2 benchmark application, our OnePlus Nord 2 have scored 6,2201. If you talk about CPU throttling, I did notice a bit of throttling issues on my OnePlus Nord 2, wherein average GIPs were not that good and max CPU throttled only 66%. Till now, most of the OnePlus users must be aware what all changes OnePlus have done with Oxygen OS 12 and almost all the changes are similar on every OnePlus device. First talking about the launcher, so instead of Oxygen OS launcher, we do have Color OS launcher. Though the name is Oxygen OS launcher, but you get everything of Color OS. And with no doubt, there are a bit of optimizations required with this launcher, but it's a feature rich launcher. You have lot many options to customize your device. For example, you can change the app animation speed directly from the launcher settings. We have this different transition effects and few gestures to just directly move Move all the applications towards the top side or bottom side. So we have done a dedicated video on all the features of Color OS launcher. I'll leave that video guide in the description below. If you compare the changes with Oxygen OS 11, there are lot many changes done. But as said, not every user is liking them. But trust me guys, Oxygen OS 12 or you can say 12.1 isn't that bad. We just have to accept the changes what OnePlus have done. But once you start using it, I'm sure you guys gonna love that once everything is sorted out like for example minor bugs and other stuff. Haptic feedback is really improved on Oxygen OS 12.1 compared to Oxygen OS 11. We do get that rich haptic feedback while scrolling around the device. We don't see much of changes in the quick setting tiles. Now on Oxygen OS 12 you get this clock along with the day and date towards the top side wherein text size is also a bit larger now. One thing what you guys gonna notice now oneplus shelf have been completely redesigned and also we have a new gesture to trigger the oneplus shelf and that's you need to swipe down from the right top corner tapping on continue so this is the newly oneplus shelf which you guys gonna see on oxygen os 12. there are a lot many tiles or you can say toolboxes which you can access directly from the shelf you can also change this text which was written never settle on the top side and if you guys are anytime uncomfortable with this oneplus shelf gesture you can just turn it off from the shell setting. And on stock OnePlus launcher, we had this advanced search feature called OnePlus Scout. So that thing now you guys won't find it in the app drawer, though Scout feature can be used directly from the OnePlus shelf section. So as you can see here, soon you tap on this search bar, you will be able to trigger or enable OnePlus Scout feature. I know it was much handy in the app drawer, but as said, we have to accept the changes what OnePlus have done. With Android 12.1, we might get to see better battery backup on OnePlus Nord 2 because OnePlus have added this smart battery engine which can help battery last long. So that we'll be covering in a review video in which we'll update you guys about the battery backup, bugs and other stuff. So stay tuned for a complete review video. Later, they have also optimized AI system booster to run device bit smoother compared to Oxygen OS 11. And this thing I can anytime confirm it to you guys. The animations are way better. Scrolling experience, touch have been improved a lot with Oxygen OS 12.1. After that, few optimizations have also been done related to image sharpener and video color boost. And if you guys were the user of OnePlus in past, then I know most of you never liked the dark mode present on Oxygen OS 10 and 11. But with Oxygen OS 12, 
Now I am sure you love the dark mode present here because we don't get that grayish background. If you want that thing, you can still enable it. We do have three different settings for the dark mode. First one is gentle which gives you this grayish background. Soon you enable dark mode. Second one is medium which is slightly dark but still you can see that grayish color. And the third one is enhanced which is pitch dark theme. So most users of OnePlus do like this feature because OnePlus gave them the ability to customize the dark mode. And at last we have this adaptive contrast feature which automatically adjusts the screen color contrast intensity according to the ambient lighting condition. A great add-on on Oxygen OS 12. And if you were the one who used to hide your apps on Oxygen OS 11 and Oxygen OS 12, then there is a disappointment for you guys because now hidden space feature have been completely moved to a different section. Previously, whenever we used to swipe towards the right hand side in the app drawer, we were able to access the hidden space feature. But now that thing has been moved under settings, privacy. So here you can see we have that option of hide apps. Though the process is lengthy, but it's an upgraded one where you can set different or unified passwords to log the applications. Later, they have also introduced the work life balance 2.2, which gives you a lot many options to set your work mode and other stuff. Basically, I don't use this feature a lot, but if you are the one who have ever used this feature, then you might notice a lot of changes done here. Also, the gallery app have been updated where we have this feature of pinch in and pinch out to zoom in or you can say zoom out also. And now let's talk about the customizations present on Oxygen OS 12.1. So here you can see this is the new layout. Initially, this was called as customization on Oxygen OS 11 and 10. Now it has been renamed to personalization. You won't find ambient display, but you can always use this feature called always on display along with the display settings set to power saving. We do get the feature of advanced canvas AOD which is now upgraded and we have lot many options to customize where you can change the paintbrush, color palettes and special effects. Bitmoji feature now can be found on Oxygen OS 12. I'm not sure whether this feature was present on OnePlus Nord 2 running Oxygen OS 11. And I'm also not sure about this new clock style whether it was present on Oxygen OS 11 or not because on other devices of OnePlus we have seen this inside clock but for the first time, I am saying this daydream clock on OnePlus Nord 2 running Oxygen OS 12. And this is how it looks on the lock screen. Talking about unlocking speed using face unlock and fingerprint unlock. So with fingerprint unlock, I did not find any kind of delays while unlocking the device though I am using a screen protector on my device but still unlocking speed is lightning fast. And the same thing goes with face unlock feature. As you can see here. We do have similar clock styles, though we still don't get the support of material you theming even on Oxygen OS 12.1. These are the fingerprint animations present and here we have three different colors for horizon light. Talking about the last add-on with Oxygen OS 12.1, so OnePlus says they have added the Hyper Boost engine on OnePlus Nord 2. As you guys must be aware, Hyper Boost is a technology which helps you improve your game and gets you stable FPS throughout the gameplay. Though it's a system implementation and you won't have any dedicated setting for it. In the gaming dashboard, we don't see any changes. We have almost everything similar which was present, which is touch optimization. On OnePlus 10 Pro with the new update, they have also provided that hyper touch feature, but that's missing on OnePlus Nord 2. So let's see how stable is a gameplay. We'll play a small TDM and we'll find out the stability of this initial build of stable Oxygen OS 12.1. We do have the max support of 60 FPS on OnePlus Nord 2. So let's play one TDM and see how does the device perform. So initially frame seems to be stable enough. So let's see. So I did not see much of frame drops right now while playing a TDM but we'll be testing out in a review video where we'll play multiple full matches. There we'll get a fair idea whether any lags to be seen or not. Though the device have been slightly warmed up but it's not too much. Slight heating will always be observed on any Android device. And here we have a small bug which we have seen on almost all the OnePlus smartphones. 
and that's related to game space application though we have closed the game but still game space application is running in the background let's see when oneplus gonna release a new update to fix the same issue so guys this was a quick look on oxygen os 12.1 for oneplus nord 2 if you have any kind of questions you guys let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day Thank you.